Hello and welcome to Mary Kay. Oh my goodness, I don't know why my lighting is so bad. There we go. Um, all right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and invest in yourself. Um, I do want to tell you really quickly that if you um, are watching this video and your um, husband, significant other, um, your just the most influential person in your life is nearby, go ahead and grab them and let them watch this video with you um, because they can kind of help you make some decisions regarding your business and kind of moving along. Um, I always like to run things on my husband, and so it's always nice to just have his opinion and to be able to watch um, and have him watch as well. So, um, and so he can maybe see a little bit of what you are getting into as you start your Mary Kay business. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you are a mixture of emotions. Um, I know I was when I started Mary Kay, I was a little bit excited, a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit stressed out. Um, and so, I just want to assure you number one, that is normal, um, and number two, that um, it will pass, okay? And I promise you every emotion that you feel, I probably have felt it at some point. Um, and so that is what I'm here for. I am your mentor, I am your business coach, and um, I have earned lots of cars and diamonds and things like that in this business. And I want to teach you how to do the same thing. Um, and so there are a lot of reasons why women sign up to sell Mary Kay. Sometimes it's simply just to get their own stuff at a 50% discount um, and to just sell to a few close family and friends. That's awesome if that's your goal. Um, the next thing is for you to be a side hustler, make a little extra money on the side. And then of course we have our girls who come in and they want to do this full time. And so um, whatever that is for you, whether you're, um, we call it savvy shopper, side hustler, or a full-time girl. Um, you know what? Like we're excited to have you no matter what. And I want to help you reach whatever goal you have. Um, no matter if it is to become a um, full-time Mary Kay girl or just to kind of get your own stuff at 50% off. So that's what I'm here for. Um, so like I said, anytime you start something new, it's a little, it's totally normal to feel a little bit um, emotional um, all over the place, especially as women, right? And so I want to tell y'all really quickly, there are three reasons why women um, do not succeed in Mary Kay, okay? Um, the only way to fail in Mary Kay is to quit, all right? So if you quit, that's the only way that you failed in Mary Kay. Um, and so the three reasons why women usually quit is because they have... Um, poor time management, poor emotional management, or poor um, uh, money management, okay? And so we have meetings on Monday nights, and at those meetings, you're going to learn a lot about time management. You're going to learn a lot about emotional management. You'll learn a little bit about money management as well, but what I want to do is start you out ready for success on the front end and talk about that money management here and now as you walk in the door. Um, and the reason that I do that is because this business is for you to make money. This is not for you to lose money. Okay. This business is for you to make money, put money in your bank account for your family. Um, and I pay my bills on Mary Kay. So I 100% want to make sure that you are making money. Um, a hobby cost you money, okay? A um, business makes you money. And so that is what the goal of this is. And so we're going to go over uh, money management. We're going to go over having some product on hand. Um, I do want to tell you really quickly, you know, I told you on Monday nights, you're going to be getting some um, information about time management, emotional management. You're going to get a, um, a lot on Monday nights. And so if this is something that you're really wanting to make some extra money at, um, I highly encourage you to be on those Monday night meetings. You're going to hear a lot. You're going to see a lot. You're going to um, but those Monday night meetings are really just a place for you to tune in and be um, in a space where you can make the most of your time and um, also just to learn how to um, do this business in a successful way because these are the top of the top women training you every single Monday night. And so uh, make sure that you make those a priority. Okay, another thing I want to tell you is you are going to be getting a pink folder in the mail for me. It'll look something like this. Um, sorry, my lighting is not great in here. So you're going to get a pink folder. It's going to look something like this in the mail for me. Um, hang on to that. You and I are going to go through that. We're going to go through different pieces of that. And um, if you have not met with me already, we're going to meet and we're going to go over um, just your first steps. And I'm going to try to help you kind of create a business plan specifically for you. Um, and we're going to schedule your first party and all that kind of stuff. So um, just hang on to that pink folder for now. Um, and then we'll kind of go through some of that stuff as we talk. But this is your first step is watching this video. So once this video is watched, you can check that off your list. This is one of the most important things because money management is so, so, so super important in Mary Kay. Okay, you're going to hear a lot of Mary Kay verbiage. All right, if you tune in on Monday nights, 
You're going to hear a lot of Mary Kay verbiage. All right. We use words and it almost sounds like you're like here in a foreign language for the first time. And it's a little like intimidating. I'm not going to lie. I felt a little intimidated. And so just know that you do not need to know everything to get to get started and be successful. You do not need to know everything. Okay. You just need to start and you need to um, listen to people like me. Okay. Who are your mentor and who can help you um, to go in the right direction. So. Um, if you have your kit, then there is a brochure in there that says Ready, Set, Sail. Okay, if you don't have your kit, I'm going to show you how you can find this on your Mary Kay In Touch. Now, if you have not used your Mary Kay In Touch yet, um, okay, here we go. If you have not used your Mary Kay In Touch yet, then you're going to have to go in and log in. You're just going to put in your... Um, your, uh, I'm trying to remember what it is, um, consultant ID, and then you'll have to create a password. But I'm going to show you how you can find Ready, Set, Sell. So you see up here where it says search and in touch, you're going to type in Ready, Set, Sell. And then you're going to go right here where it says Great Start New Independent Beauty Consultant Rewards. You are going to scroll down, Ready, Set, Sell. And here's your brochure, okay? And so um, if you have this, if you have a hard copy of it from your, um, what's it called, from your kit, um, you can use the hard copy. But today I am going to show you all everything right here on the screen. So it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, so go ahead and pull that out. Um, like I said, if you can't find it there, then just make sure that you look on Mary Kay in touch. Now, we're going to come back to this in just a minute. Um, but I want to share with you all really quickly the benefits of having products on hand. All right, I want to show you all really quickly. I'm going to turn my computer screen and hopefully I don't knock everything off of my desk here. But I, I told you I was going to knock everything off my desk. Okay, so this is my products that I have on hand over here. Okay, and so I love having products on hand. I love being able to offer um, that customer service to my customers and to be able to say, hey, if you need your cleanser, you can stop by my house and get it. I can deliver it to you or I can ship it to you. Like I have it right at my fingertips to be able to give to my customer. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is just that you are branding yourself as the Mary Kay girl. Um, and so for you, it may be that if you work, let's say you work in a doctor's office. Well, there's a lot of women that work in a doctor's office, right? And so if they are like, I got to stop by Ulta on the way home and grab some mascara. And you're like, oh, girl, I got some. I'll bring it to you in the morning. Because you have it on hand and you are selling to her right then and there. And so you're not having to um, order the products. She's not running by CVS or Ulta on her way home. Like you are her one-stop shop. And now she knows you're her one-stop shop. And so she can text you at night. Hey, girl, I need cleanser. I need mascara. I need this. I need that. And she knows you're going to get it to her the next day because you're coming to work the next day, right? Teachers. I mean, like if you work anywhere near women, it is such a great opportunity to have some stuff on hand that you can get to them right away. Um, and you're branding yourself as the Mary Kay girl that can get the stuff to her right away versus the Mary Kay girl who is a girl who takes orders and has to, you know, get the orders to her later. And so that's another thing I want to talk to you about. You can be a boutique owner or you can be an order taker, okay? Either way, I'm going to help you be successful and you're going to be just fine, okay? But I want you to just think about being a boutique owner and how that could make you more successful and bring more money to your family. And so that's what I'm going to kind of talk to you all about tonight. Um, you guys, I... And genuinely sharing this because I have seen success from being a boutique owner and having products on hand. And I want you guys to have that same, um, I want all of my people to have that same um, success, right? And so um, you're going to be able to brand yourself, number one. You're going to be able to fill orders fast and on demand. I always say we have to be faster than Amazon Prime, right? Because they can get anything on Amazon Prime in two days. And so what can we do to be faster or as fast as Amazon Prime? We can have products on hand, right? And so when you're at a Mary Kay party, you're going to sell two to five times more product when you have it on hand to hand to your customer right then and there. You're going to sell products so quickly um, and you're going to sell a ton of it whenever you have it right there on hand because number one cosmetics are an impulsive buy okay 
If you've ever been to Ulta and you spent three, four, five hundred dollars in Ulta or Sephora or whatever, you know that cosmetics are an impulsive buy. Or if you've ever been in there and watched another girl spend that kind of money, um, but you know that um, cosmetics are an impulsive buy. So the I is going to buy, and you are going. You think like a business owner, think like a boutique owner, right? It's also a time saver, okay? Because when you order products, you got to order them, get them to your house, and then you got to deliver them to everybody. Um, you're driving all over the place, right? Let's say you do a party and there's five women there to order. Well, now you got to figure out how to get all five women their products, right? But if you had all the products that night at the party, they get to take them home. You sold a whole lot more, right? And you don't have to run around delivering products to everybody, right? Um, okay, so I want you to think about if let's say this is your husband and he goes and opens a tire store, okay? And he is like, I'm gonna open a tire store, but I'm not gonna buy any tires. I'm not gonna have any tires on the shelves. Like, I'm just gonna open the store and then we'll see how it goes. We'll see if some people come to me. And if people come to me, then I'll like stock up on some tires later, okay? So that's his mentality, right? Well, here's the deal. If you go into a tire store and your tire's flat and they don't have any tires, what are you going to do? You're going to go to the next tire store that has tires on hand because your tire's flat and you need tires, right? Women do not want to go without their makeup, their cosmetics, their skincare, okay? And so they are like, my tire's flat, all right? Like, I'm out of foundation, right? I got to find the girl who's got it on hand. And so they want their Mary Kay foundation, but if you don't have it, they'll find somebody who does. And so that's another thing is you got to, you know, make sure that you have some stuff on hand. Um, okay. So um, now a lot of times I, I hear people say, well, I'll just see how it goes. Like, I'll just see how it goes. If it starts going great, then I'll just go ahead and like invest this in inventory later. Okay. That's fine. If that's what you want to do, like that's fine. Okay. But remember, if you invest in inventory later, okay, right now you're only going to sell one half to one fifth as much, right? Because we sell two to five times more. Okay, so if you invest in inventory later, you're only going to sell two, half to a fifth as much. So it's only going to go about a half to a fifth as well as it would have had you went ahead and invested in the products on the front end. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so I also just want to tell you really quickly, sorry, somebody call me. Okay. So, um, there are different levels, okay. Of inventory that you can start with. You can start low and build up. You can start at your happy medium. You can start a little bit higher and then you don't have to worry about anything at all. Um, again, boutique owner versus order taker. If you want inventory, you're a boutique owner. If you don't want inventory, you're an order taker. Again, you can be successful either way. Inventory is not required, but I highly recommend it. And so I'm going to tell you all about the, um, the different levels. I'm going to tell you kind of having product versus not having product, just that kind of thing. Okay. Um, all right. So I also want you to think about this as an investment, not a debt. Okay. A debt you're going to lose money on. Okay. You're going to lose money on a debt. So I want you to think about if you took, um, $3,000. Okay. And, um, we'll back up. And then, okay, I didn't talk about an investment. So a debt is going to cost you money, okay? It's going to cost you money in the long run. Um, an investment is going to bring you a return, okay? So I want you to think about if you took $3,000 and you went to the bank and you put it in one of the best mutual funds that you could find on an up market, all right? So it's a good market. Everything's going good. You're making lots of money, right? Um even if you put $3,000 into the best mutual fund you could find in an up market, it's still going to take about nine to 18 years for that money to double itself. Okay. In Mary Kay, that money doubles itself the second it hits your doorstep. All right. Because what happens? You have, you invest $3,000. Once it hits your doorstep, that product is worth 6,000. Does that make sense? Now there's different levels. I'm not saying 3,000 is your level, but I'm saying that's just a good um, example, right? Okay. So you double your dollar right, right then and there. 
Um, and it's like having an ATM on your shelf. Okay. I even do like sell, um, sell the shelf. Okay. I do sell the shelf sometimes in my customer group and people will hop on and they can shop off of my shelf. Literally. Right. It's kind of like when you see boutique owners doing the same thing. Okay. So I want you to grab a piece of paper. If you have a piece of paper nearby, go ahead and grab a piece of paper. And I want you to just draw like a T chart. All right, so <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to write on each side, okay? So you're going to write 60% on one side and 40% on the other side. So here's the deal. In Mary Kay, you are literally paying yourself, okay? Mary Kay does not write you a paycheck unless you have people on your team, and that's something we'll talk about later. But when you are selling product, you are paying yourself. Therefore, you get to make money right then and there. You don't have to wait on a paycheck which is really, really nice, but I want you to know how to pay yourself, okay? So I want you to, on the side that says 60%, so you're going to go 60%, 40%. On the side that says 60%, I want you to write reordering, okay? Because this is what's going to happen. Out of that 60%, let's say um, that you have um, $1,000, Okay, you sold $1,000 at a party. This will be easy math. You sold $1,000 at a party. $600 would go in that 60%, and $400 is going in that 40%. Now, we make 50% profit, but I'm going to show you how to keep yourself a little 10% cushion so that you can have a little bit of leeway when it comes to ordering business supplies and things like that. Um, okay. I'm just teaching you how to think like a boutique owner, like a business owner, okay? So that's going to be your reordering account. So 60% is going to be what you reorder with, okay? So that's $600 what you're going to reorder with, all right? So I want you to think about you go to Walmart, you buy a gallon of milk, okay? Or buy a load, or I don't think they have buy anymore, food line, whatever. You go and you buy a gallon of milk, okay? What do they do? They reorder another gallon of milk to put it there for the next customer to come and get, right? So you've got to reorder and keep your products stocked, okay? you got to keep them stocked. That's how you become a boutique owner, right? Okay, so it's just like Walmart restocks everything. We're restocking everything, okay? So half of what you collect goes here, plus you're going to put a 10% cushion in there for business supplies. Y'all, all of this is optional, okay? All of this is optional, but what I'm telling you will help you to have that cushion whenever you might need some more mascara ones, when you need to um, buy, I'm trying to think, some paper towels, if you need to buy some more trays and mirrors, if you need to buy some samples, um, if you need to buy bags to put your products in, just things like that. Having that extra 10% cushion helps with that so that you're not pulling that money out of your profit later, okay? All right. So this, this side, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your own, you're going to open up a separate checking account that's separate from your personal checking account. Okay, so you're going to open up a separate checking account, and this money is going to go into that account. Okay, and what's going to happen is when you open up that checking account, you're going you're gonna to get a debit card, you're going to get checks, all that stuff. Take a Sharpie and write MK on that debit card because you're going to want to make sure that you hang on to that debit card and make sure that you don't use it for personal stuff and that um you know it doesn't get confused with your personal stuff okay because this is the card that you're going to do your reorders with you're probably not going to do your first order with it but every order after that you're going to use this card for it okay um and so you're going to do your reorders with this card all right now the 40 percent side is your profit okay so this is what your T-chart should look like. This is reordering half of what you collect plus a 10% business supplies, okay? And then 40% is your profit. All right, so the smartest women in Mary Kay, the smartest women, or really in any business in general, I say they have the three Ps. What are the three Ps? Product on hand, okay? Product on hand. They are getting profit from their sales, okay? Because that's the whole point is for you to make money, right? And the third P is they're paying off their initial investment. So let's talk about that. So I'm going to show you how to make your Mary Kay business pay for your products because here's the deal. When I started Mary Kay, I was 19 years old. I started with um, some inventory. Okay. I started with like a 2,400 level inventory. Okay. And I'll tell you all a little bit more about that in a minute. But I started Mary Kay. I did not have money, extra money 
to pay off my investment. Mary Kay, my business had to pay off my product investment. And so if you're anything like me, you've got to know how to make that happen, right? You got to make sure that you are using your Mary Kay business to pay off your initial investment. Okay. So um, let's talk about, um, or let's just kind of do an example. Okay. So I want you to get, you know, use the same piece of paper, use different piece of paper, whatever it is. But um, so if you are a boutique owner, so right, boutique owner on one side, and then you're going to write order taker on the other side. Okay. We're going to use that same $1,000 example. $1,000 example. Okay. So with um, having product on hand as the boutique owner, you're going to have two to three, let's say you have two to three selling appointments a week. Now this is like group selling appointments, like parties, um, things like that. Okay. Now I'm going to be conservative and we're going to say if you did two to three a week, your sales are going to be approximately $1,000. Okay. Now really you're probably going to be closer to about $1,500, but I'm going to say $1,000 because we're going to be a little bit conservative. Okay. So $1,000, $600 is your reorder, $400 is yours to keep. Okay. Now, if you invest in products, let's say you put it on a credit card. Okay. Let's say you use a credit card to invest in your um, inventory. Okay. You're going to take that hundred dollars. You're going to take a hundred dollars out of your 400. Okay. And you're going to use that to make a payment on your card. And that leaves you with $300 profit. Okay. So I want y'all to write a thousand in sales, 300 profit. This is boutique owner, a thousand in sales, 300 profit with the credit card payment. Okay. Now, once it is paid off, you just restock and pay yourself. Okay. So you're going to make your full profit then once it's paid off. Okay. But see how this is the three P's working for you. Like you're restocking because you got your $600 reorder. Okay. So that's your restocking the 400 Okay, is that other part? Okay, the 300 is where you're making your money. Okay, so that's your profit. All right, so restocking is product on hand. That's your 600. Okay, then you've got your um, profit, which is your 300. And then your 100 is paying off your initial investment. So that's, that's three P's working for you. Now let's talk about if you took no orders. I mean, no product on hand. You're just an order taker. Okay, so same scenario. Same scenario. You sold a thousand dollars. Actually, no, you did two to three appointments. Okay. You did two to three appointments, but because you didn't have products on hand. Okay. Just because, because you didn't have products on hand, you sold about a half to a fifth of what you would normally sell. Right. Because you're, you're going to sell more when you have product on hand. Right. So, um, let's say, you know, let's say $500. So you sold 500, you took the same amount of energy, you took the same amount of gas in your car, you did all, all the things exactly the same. You got pretty, okay? Like to go do these appointments, but you made, you sold half, okay? So you're breaking all these numbers in half, all right? So instead of a thousand, it's 500. Instead of 600 to restock, it's 300, okay? And then instead of profiting, um, 400, you're going to profit 200. All right. And then if you don't have inventory, you're probably going to use that 200 to start building up your inventory, which means your profit winds up being nothing. Do you see what I'm saying? So, and even if you didn't use it to build up your inventory, 200 is still not as much as that $300 profit that you made when you, even with a card payment, you came out ahead. Does that make sense? Okay. If you have questions, you can ask me. Um, later, but if you build it up, okay, if you choose to build it up, that is okay. All right, it's okay. But I want to tell you if I were you, I would do an 80 20 split, okay? Like I would still pay yourself a little bit because you cannot take all of your profit and invest it in products, you will not continue to do Mary Kay if you do that, okay? Because you've got to show your family money. You've got to show yourself money that you're putting in your bank account, okay? Um, and so also you're going to have to be really patient, right? Because you're not going to be making that full 50% if you're trying to build up your inventory because you're going to be using that money to pay for more inventory. And so if you can start out with some good inventory, then you're going to be making money right away. Okay, so um, 
like I said, even with that card payment, you come out on top. I hope that visual helps. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Um, but I hope that visual helps. I know for me, it did when I first started. Okay, so Ready, Set, Sell. Let's look at that Ready, Set, Sell brochure really quickly. Um, I want to share that. Okay, I think that's sharing with y'all. Okay, so here's the deal. There are some pages in here that look like this. This, okay, this is not, this is going to show you about the, about the amount of product that you would have with each level, but it's not really showing you exactly what you're going to have because I'm going to help you. I'm actually going to hand pick your products for you based on your clientele, based on the different colors, based on the different skin types, the ages, that kind of thing. Um, okay, so right here on page three, there's a quiz, all right? And so what I want you to do is um, take this quiz and to see what Mary Kay recommends for you okay now if you don't have this go ahead and screenshot your phone right now so you'll have this okay um but let me tell you really quickly something okay so up here this desired monthly earnings and selling appointments i want to mentor you well as your business coach and i'm not going to give you a lot of fluff okay like i want you to be successful and put money in your family's bank account and so I want you to have really great goals, but I want you to do the work to achieve it. And so I don't want you to have unrealistic goals for the amount of work that you're willing to do. So what I recommend when you're taking this um, quiz is to do this question first, the selling appointments first. OK, so one appointment per month, two to three per month, one to two per week or three or more per week. I want you to pick what you're willing to do. OK, that's what you're willing to do. Then you can pick your um, your money because here's what happens. If you're wanting to do one appointment per month and you also want to make $1,200, those two do not correlate. Does that make sense? Like you're not going to do one, one appointment per month and make $1,200 more than likely. Okay. So more than likely, if you do one appointment per month, you're going to make 100 to 400. More than likely, if you do two to three, you're going to make 400 to 800. One to two per week, 800 to 1,200. Does that make sense? So that's what I want you to look at. Okay, so let's look at page four, the chart. Um, so there's some free bundles that you can earn, and they're all in the back of this brochure. Um, so you can actually look at all these free bundles if you want to. And if you have a preference on your free bundles, you just need to let me know what that is um, so that I can make sure that you get the ones that you want, okay? All right, so here is the chart that I want you guys to look at. So... Oh, let me tell you about this color look really quick. Okay, so this, you're if you order your inventory within your first 15 days of business, you are going to get this color look, okay? And this is for you to use on yourself. And it comes with any level of inventory, okay? So you're going to get um, a lip liner, an eyeliner, a mascara, three eyeshadows, a blush, and a compact. Um, and it is beautiful. Um, you also get lip gloss and lipstick. Sorry, I didn't say that. Um, and it's $134.50 retail, okay? And so you, when somebody compliments your eyeshadow, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, thanks. Like, it's Mary Kay. I sell it now. Would you like that uh, catalog? <laughs> okay, so you're going to be able to use the products on yourself right away. Okay, so here's the deal. If you have too much inventory, you're going to be really, really... If you have too little, you're going to be really frustrated. Now, I see way more frustrated people that I see overwhelmed people. I'll be honest because frustrated people are constantly placing orders trying to keep up with what they're selling. Okay. All right. So let me just explain really quickly how this works. So let's say that you started, I started with the 2400 when I came in. Okay. So let's say you started with the 2400. Okay. The $2,400 is going to be worth 48. Okay. So 24 is 48 as soon as it hits your doorstep. Okay, you're going to get four product bonus bundles for free. You're going to get that color look that we just talked about. You're going to get two mirrors and trays and two travel roll up bags for a total of $905.50 in free product. Now, remember, Mary Kay backs you 90%. 90%. So, this was very reassuring to me because if I decide Mary Kay isn't for me and I send all this stuff back, and they send me my money back, this covers that other 10% or close to it, right? When I sell all of this, right? And you're making 100% profit selling that, okay? So that's going to make a big dent in that payoff of your initial investment, okay? 
All right, if you're wanting more inventory, I recommend you only go like one level up from what the company would recommend based on the quiz that you took. If you're wanting less inventory, I'd recommend just going one level down. Okay, you don't want to get too far from what the company recommends for you. Um, just simply because, again, don't want you to be overwhelmed. Don't want you to be frustrated. Okay. All right. So um, let's talk about a star level. So these levels here, these are the ones that I recommend. I don't usually recommend anything lower than 1800 um, unless you are simply wanting to do this for friends and family purposes, okay? If you're just wanting to sell to friends and family and yourself, then a 600 or a 1200 would be perfect for you, okay? Um, 600 is usually just for yourself. 1200 is going to be for your like you, your friends, and your family, okay? Now, a star level is somebody who's really wanting to make a profit in Mary Kay, all right? This is like your profit level. So 18, 24, 3, and 36, okay? Um, stars, here's some op, um, examples, okay? So stars are going to go in our referral program. So anytime that you somebody logs on to Mary Kay and they're trying to look for a consultant, they're going to see you first because you're a star, okay? Also, you're going to get a prize at the end of every quarter for being a star. And we have a really cool saying in Mary Kay that says stars earn cars. Because if you're working at a level to maintain star, cons star consultant status, all the time and you're also maintaining um what we would what you would want to do to earn a free car okay all right so um let's see oh i also want to tell y'all really quickly we do take we do pay our retail taxes up front okay so these totals it will not be like an even 2400 okay um your total would be like probably about 27 2800 once they add on those taxes and shipping but it does wind up being a wash because you are charging your customers retail tax and so they're paying you that money back in a hundred percent um and so you know I think it's great because we never have to worry about anything at tax time. Mary Kay just takes care of all that for us. But just be prepared that this is the amount of wholesale product that you're getting, but your um, total will be a little bit higher than that. Okay. All right. So um, the average woman, she's going to spend about three to six thousand dollars on skincare, glamour, body care, and fragrance. Um, and so even if you're just stocking for like you, your mom, or your sister um your aunt okay even if you're just talking for those people um you would still need a little bit on hand or could do a little bit on hand to stock yourself for a year or even you know you and your family okay so do the quiz let's talk and that'll kind of give you an idea of where you need to land on this okay and then you can just kind of let me know um what you would like to do and i can help you get all that situated now Let's talk about ways to fund this. Okay, so there's some ways that you can fund this um, inventory. And I have lots of options, but I'm going to tell you all the most popular ones. Okay, so the most popular is that people get a credit card. Um, we can use an existing credit card that you already have, and we can actually break it up into four different cards. So if you have four different methods of payment, we can break it up into four different cards. You can also apply for the Mary Kay Visa. Now, I will say your credit score has to be about 650 or higher for you to get approved for that one. It's a little bit picky. Um, but I also have some other options for credit cards if you don't have that kind of credit score. Uh, excuse me. For instance, I was 19 when I started. And so um, I did not have a 650 credit score. And so my mom actually applied for the card for me. And I was able to... Um, pay her back, or not really pay her back, but I, with the understanding that I paid the card off, right? So I was the one that paid the card off, but my mom was had the card kind of in her name. Um, and so you could have somebody do that for you. Um, but I do like the Mary Kay Visa because it's 0% interest for a year. Um, you get 3% on Mary Kay purchases and 1% on other purchases. Um, I also have, like I said, I have a flyer with some more funding options if that, if those two don't, you don't love those two ideas. You can also go on to Credit Karma if you want to, um, and I can send you links to that kind of stuff as well. Um, okay, another option is you can sell some stuff. Um, I see people on Facebook all the time selling clothes and um, doing a house clean out and things like that. You could sell some stuff like that, just things that you have laying around that you need to get rid of. You could sell some stuff and um, use it to invest in your inventory. Um, and then another thing you could do is you could go to a bank or a credit union um, and you just walk in, tell them like, hey, I'm looking for a card or a loan, um, you know, for this amount, whatever amount you're looking at. 
Um, so if you were doing a 2400, I would say to ask for a 3000, um, you know, loan and just say, you know, what can you offer me? Because remember, you're the customer when you walk into a bank. And so you just say, what can you offer me? All right. Um, so you guys, I'm here to help you. I'm so excited to have you in this business. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just stoked. I honestly, I'm just so excited that you're here. Um, and so just know that you have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. Um, and I cannot wait to help you do absolutely amazing in your business. So let me know what your decision is on your inventory as soon as you finish watching this or as soon as you've made your decision. Um, and if y'all have any questions, of Xboxer, whatever works better for you. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day.